The room's been moved around again. We still don't have furniture, hence the boxes in the background and an upside down lampshade. So yeah. But I feel like Pennywise is gonna be the Harley Quinn of this year's Halloween and it just feels wrong to like not do something. But obviously I don't want it to be like the exact same as everybody's Pennywise. And I haven't actually seen anyone do this, like what I'm gonna do. So fingers crossed they haven't and I'm unique. Yay. Um, but just really quick before we start, I am going to be shaving off all my hair. <laughs> um, I have been thinking about doing this for a little while and I did want to do it last year um, for my auntie. But her diagnosis from when she got cancer to when she passed was only four weeks. So I kind of... It just, it didn't happen. Obviously I was still nervous about it and stuff and we really didn't expect to lose it that soon. Um, so I'm gonna be doing it for two people who have absolutely kicked cancer's ass. Um, both of them, two brothers, uh, both got cancer and have both beaten it. Um, however, they do need to get some good prosthetic legs. I will leave the link in the description below if you want to read more about their story. And obviously, if you could donate even just a pound, it would make such a massive difference. Um, and I will hopefully be filming when I shave my hair off. So that's going to be happening on the 27th of November. So you can look forward to that. <laughs> but other than that, let's just get on with the tutorial. So I'll be honest, I wanted this to kind of be a thing that was... Um, just easy to do like obviously still effective but not so you need to go out and buy loads and loads of things so the only things i'm going to be using which on makeup products are fake blood and liquid latex that's that's the only thing what i'm basically going to do is i'm going to make the lines that go up towards the eye and up the eyebrow i want them to actually be like slits in the face My question now is, why on earth does liquid latex literally smell like fish? Like, it smells so bad. So just be aware that if your eyes are quite sensitive, like the smell and the fumes <laughs> may make them water. Obviously try and make sure that you're doing this somewhere well ventilated, so have some windows open and all that. So basically this will dry clear and I'll just keep adding layers and layers until I'm happy with the final result. I know that some people do tend to use tissue paper and things like that, but I find that when you use liquid latex just by itself, because it does dry clear, it's way easier to blend into your skin and obviously it's much thinner. So you do you, but this is just how I like to do it. Okay, so I've done about um, three or four layers of the liquid latex, as you may be able to tell. My face is very, very stiff. It's kind of difficult to talk. Um, but it is kind of like textured and shiny and things like that, which you obviously can touch up with foundation and powder. But I've decided that I actually want to do the cuts first, like I'm going to cut the liquid latex first and then go over with foundation because I'm going to have to cover it all anyway, so yeah. Okay, neither pair of the scissors are working. I'm just going to have to pick it apart. Really slowly, but it's weird because it's like I can't really show it because I kind of need to like hold the rest of the latex down. So I'm just gonna try and cut it and then I'll I'll just come back to you. Okay, so I did all of the cuts that I want, and any bits that were like flapping about, I just put some eyelash glue down and use that to like stick it down because obviously I really don't want it going anywhere. Um, and now's the point where I'm going to go in with foundation. Now obviously if you did want it to be more of like a traditional Pennywise, you could go in with a white foundation or cream product, but I don't have either and I'm quite pale anyway. So I'm just going to go in with my normal foundation. So 
So now I'm gonna be setting my face. So I'm going to start by going in with a red shadow. I'm just using the Urban Decay Full Spectrum Palette just because it's really easy. And everything's right where I want it. Obviously you can go in the wound just to give you a sort of base colour. Um, but I do actually want to go all over the skin and everything like that to make sure it's nice and irritated. And making sure we don't forget about the top of our head as well. Okay, so while I'm here as well, because I know I'm going to have to make my eyes look really dark, um, I do want the surrounding bits of them to sort of be fading out into a red anyway. So I may as well just do that now. So I'm next going to move on to purple. Once again, doing it on my eyes, but not blowing it out as much as the red. Okay, so we understand at the minute it might be looking a little bit samey samey, but do not fear, everything will come together in the end. I don't know that for certain, I'm just hoping <laughs> and praying. So, what I've done is just get a little bit of a dark red lipstick on the back of my hand, and I'm gonna go into those cuts. So what you can do as well is use it to paint any skin that's sort of folding back as well as going underneath so you can see like here looks pretty dark and that's just because I've gone underneath. And if you get any on top, just use your finger to smudge it, it'll be blood. Don't worry. And then once again, going up top. And painting any skin that's folded back. And then bringing that down to the eyebrow as well. Just so there's no sort of gap or anything. So what I want to do now is finish the eyes. I'm just taking out my Naked Basics palette. Again, the same palette that I always use all the time because it's super easy. So I'm going to take Faint, which is a super dark brown colour, and blend that into the purple. So now we just need to use the black. And I probably will pack it on with more of a flat brush in a sec. So before we move on, you might have noticed that we are missing something. A bright red nose. 
So I'm going to use a lip liner just to sketch it out. So I'm actually going to colour it in with this first, obviously see how it looks and then darken it up if it's necessary. Do you know what? I might actually leave it a bright red just so it stands out a little bit. Um, but I'm just going to set it with a little bit of shadow. So I believe now that all we have left is the best bit, blood. Um, so I actually think I'm done. Now, I'll be honest, this isn't the quickest look that I've ever done in my life. But I really fucking love it. And I hope you enjoyed this sort of different, I can't even speak, different interpretation of Pennywise. Obviously, everyone's doing the same kind of thing and you want to be a little bit different. It's kind of fun. Other than that, I hope you have a brilliant day, week, month, year, life, and I will see you very shortly. Bye.